Hi, it's Kyle here with Kyle from Rochester Reptiles. Today we're going to do uh, a reptile showcase. Starting off with my personal favorite guy, a Malagasy spiny tailed dwarf iguana. These guys are just cool. Believe it or not, he is actually in perfect health. He looks somewhat skinny, but that's just how they are. And as you can tell, very clingy, usually docile species. Until you touch their head, you can just really, really, really friendly, really good guys. Um, Ninety percent of the ones distributed are wild caught. We are fortunate enough to uh, get the few captive breds out there. Really nice animal. Um, keep them in a desert substrate with uh, thirty to fifty percent humidity. They eat lettuce and crickets. Um, all of our vegetarians, we give them a salad of uh, romaine, kale, shredded carrots. Uh, you know, beautiful animal. That's an adult. They don't get big. Makes great family pet, or definitely an oddball in every herper's collection. Ah, yes, you good boy. Ah. Moving on down to everyone's. Is soaking, so he's probably going to be very wet. We've got the famous Burmese python. Fortunately, you guys are getting very hard to come by due to the Lacey Act, but if you can find one, they are beautiful snakes. Great beginner large species. Never, ever have I seen an aggressive berm. This one's obviously very healthy. It's a possible caramel morph. Just very sweet. They eat like pigs. Um, very, very strong snake. We keep ours on uh, aspen bedding. You do need to keep them in a very, very large enclosure eventually. Usually, we recommend eight feet tall by eight feet wide. Uh, like I said, these guys pound down food, trouble with berms. Is unless you get them when they're young, a lot of them only take live. And I know some of you out there do prefer to feed frozen thawed. This guy's gorgeous. We actually have a breeding pair in here. Um, really, really nice snake. Uh, definitely would recommend it. Unfortunately, you can only buy them local. I would far recommend this guy over an anaconda or any other large snake species. Uh, just due to temperament overall skill and as you can see could easily tag me has no interest at all in fact our cameraman has a little five month old baby sorry five day old baby in his arms and he has absolutely no interest in it really beautiful beautiful species and that is the Burmese python Go back in the water? No, you don't even want to go back out. <laughs> Can I hold her? Hmm? You do. Uh, right now, he's only six months old, and we keep him in a 40 gallon breeder. Um, most hatchlings you can keep in a 20 long, but I would not recommend keeping them in there very long. Uh, continuing on down the line of today's shows. Uh, personally, this is my favorite low end morph. We got a 2012 pastel ball python baby. These come from uh, underground reptiles. 
they do very well with their morphs. Beautiful, beautiful coloration. Really nice male. Pounds down his rat pups. Very, very, very nice snake. Um, we can get these for you relatively easily. Um, we get 140 for them. Fairly cheap. And they come in very well mannered. Very, very nice snake. Um, if you get into ball pythons, they're a great snake. And the morphs, they have some beautiful morphs. A little head shy still, but we're working on them. Uh, with ball pythons, adult size, they don't need more than the 40 gallon breeder. Um, we keep ours on pine and aspen. Um, large water dish. As babies, they only have to eat every one or two weeks. Really, really nice snake. Um, and again, we can get dozens of different morphs. Uh, currently, our breeder actually has champagne ball pythons, which are just beautiful. Uh, put him back in his tank. Meticulous hmm. enclosure. Uh, now we're trying to stay on oddball, but uh, do have to show you all of our chameleons are farm bred, and I just want to show you. This guy will let me. The shape they come in. Both Jacksons. It's a beautiful, ready to breed female and a sub adult male. Very, very healthy, gorgeous specimens. We keep ours in screen cages, highly decorative. These guys pound down crickets. Mm -hmm. Both beautiful animals. Hopefully we're going to be producing our own babies here shortly. Um, but uh, from now, the babies we order, we charge $89.99 for them. Definitely a good deal comparative to any other local competitors. That's the community. That's our uh, newbie. <laughs> now, uh, the other thing, we get our beautiful farm captive bread, another product of Underground Reptiles. Very good company. I recommend checking them out, um, at least looking at their website. But we get beautiful farm bred Colombian tegus from them. I mean, this is a baby and she is just in beautiful shape. Perfect coloration. Really docile. Just a very, this is top of the line as far as tegu specimens that I've seen. Very, very nice animal. Uh, typically baby tegus are nippy and she shows no sign of even wanting to bite. Um, of course, not a great beginner pet. These guys do obtain sizes of three to four feet. Um, sorry, our uh, mascot's uh, being a punk right now. <laughs> um, these are very healthy animals. Um, these guys are $64.99. Um, when they're babies like this, you can keep them in 10 to 20 gallons. Um, when they're adults, you really should have your own custom enclosure. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But uh, these are our beautiful tables. We get them in constantly. And that's what we have a shortage of. And that is all we got for right now. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.